Hey, welcome back. So we have a Raylib window, and we're now ready to start creating this video game. Now, our game involves a character jumping. And when we're jumping, that means we're moving the character. And when we move things in video games, we should be talking about velocity. So we'll discuss velocity in this video and how velocity is a change in position over time. And then I'm going to challenge you to add velocity to an object by making it jump. So let's get started. So what is velocity? Well, velocity technically is speed in a certain direction. Now when we talk about speed, we're talking about distance over time. So here we have a dashing young lad by the name of Scarfy, and Scarfy wants to move to the right on the screen. Now from left to right, this is the X direction. Now at the beginning of time, Scarfy has an X position of zero. Now time and position have units. Let's just say we're measuring time in units of seconds and position in units of meters. So as Scarfy's moving along, one second later, he finds himself at a position of 10 meters. One second after that, he finds himself at 20 meters. So in two seconds, he's just traveled 20 meters. We say that his velocity is 10 meters per second because every second he's traveled 10 meters. Pretty simple, right? Now let's say Scarfy turns around and decides to go back the way he came. Now we're gonna reset time. So we're gonna say at zero seconds, his X position is 20 meters. Now, assuming that he travels at the same speed, one second later, he finds himself at X equals 10. A second after that, he finds himself back at zero. Now, since he's moving in the negative X direction, we say that his velocity is negative 10 meters per second. So the sign of the velocity, whether it's positive or negative, can determine which direction Scarfy is moving. Now, we're familiar with units of meters and seconds, but when we're talking about our Raylib window, things are a little different. You see, here are the coordinates, and at the upper left of the window, the X and the Y are both zero. Now, let's say our window width is 512, and our window height is 380. This means that the window is 512 pixels wide and 380 pixels high. So we're not working in meters, we're working in pixels. Let's say we have a rectangle and we're drawing it up here at the top of the window. Now, if this rectangle has a velocity in the downward direction, it's being updated each frame and each frame we're moving it by a certain number of pixels. So its velocity has units of pixels per frame. Now, say we move the rectangle down by 10 pixels every frame, and at 60 frames per second, well, that means 10 pixels per frame times 60 frames per second equals 600 pixels per second. So this rectangle will traverse the entire height of the window in less than a second. So if we have a velocity, how do we update the position of something? Well, here's our while loop, and we've set our target frames per second at 60. Now let's say we have a Y position, call it pause Y, and we're initializing it to zero. Now let's say we have a velocity of 10. Now again, we're working in pixels per frame here. Now the body of the while loop executes every frame. So here is where we should update the position. All we need to do is take our Y position and add the velocity to it every frame. This is how we update the Y position. So let's see how this works. So I'm here in dasher.cpp and we're going to draw a rectangle. And so I'd like to make some integers for the rectangle's dimensions. So I'm gonna make a comment that says rectangle dimensions and I'll create a couple of integers for width and height. Now, these aren't gonna change, so I'm gonna make them const. So I'll make a const int called width and let's initialize this to 50. I'll also make a const int called height and initialize this to 80. Now my rectangle needs an integer for its Y position. Let's call it pause Y. And I'd like to set the rectangle on the ground. Now the bottom of the window is at the coordinate window height. But rectangles use the upper left corner of the rectangle for their coordinates. So I need to subtract away our height value. 
and this will place the rectangle on the ground. Now I'm also going to create an integer for the velocity of the rectangle. Now I want the rectangle to fly upward and that is going to be in the negative y direction. So let's give this a value of negative 10. Now down here in the while loop, we can update the y position. This means we simply need to take pause y and add the value of velocity to it every frame. Now all that's left is to draw the rectangle. So let's use Raylib's draw rectangle function. And for the x, I'd like the rectangle roughly in the center. So I'm going to make that window width divided by 2. And for y, I'm going to use pause y. Now we have dimensions for the width and height here called width and height. So I'm going to pass those in. And for the color, I'll use blue. Let's run this by going to run and start debugging. And there was our rectangle. It started on the ground and it flew upward. So your challenge is to implement jumping. I want you to initialize the velocity to zero. And then when the user hits the space key, I want you to add to the velocity. Remember we have is key pressed. And to detect a space key press, you have to use key underscore space in all caps. Pass that into is key pressed and is key pressed will return a Boolean that's true if you've hit the space key or false if you have not. If the user hits the space key, add to the velocity so that the velocity will no longer be zero. Go ahead and pause the video and try this now. Okay, so we're back here in our program. Now we need to initialize velocity with a value of zero. And here, just before we update the position, we're gonna check for a key press. So I'm gonna use an if statement and use is key pressed. For is key pressed, we're gonna check for the space key. So we need to pass in key space. So I'm gonna take velocity and I'm going to subtract 10 from it. Remember, we need a negative value if we want to move our character upward because y points downward in screen space. Let's hit run and start debugging. So here's our rectangle. It's sitting on the ground and if I hit space, whoa, there it jumps up. And of course it never comes down because, well, gravity does not exist. Okay, in summary, we learned about velocity and how velocity is all about distance over time for moving objects. Now, we saw that the units of distance over time are actually pixels per frame when we're working with our Raylib window. We implemented jumping with is key pressed using the space key to add velocity to our rectangle. Now, we saw that the rectangle flew upward but never came back down. And that's because we haven't actually created gravity yet. We'll take care of gravity in the next lecture, so whatever goes up in our game will come down. I'll see you then.